cell phones. I didn't bring it. All right, volleyball went two and one uh, in North Florida. Had a that, that game. I was kind of following uh, Allison's Twitter. Really <laughs> crazy. Do you want to ask about how to manipulate um, the instant replay system? No, match sound. I did pretty good, huh? It's pretty crazy. So yeah, uh, uh, heads to Nebraska this weekend for a big tournament, including a game with number four Nebraska. Okay, so um, yeah, we played at North Florida. Um, they were experimenting with the new replay system, and um, it was actually quite, quite uh, humorous. It's the replay system supposed to set things up so things go faster, and they've cut the half times in half. So it's used to be ten minutes, now it's five minutes, and and uh, we probably had forty-five minutes in delays for replays. <laughs> so it, it's not really doing what it set out to do, but I think. Our conference schools are better equipped for it right now. They're, most of us have, have done it or at least experimented with it, and it went a lot better. Um, and I know they'll get it right, too, but it was, it was crazy. Like, um, we were down 13-14 in the fifth game, and I didn't have a timeout, but I had a replay left, so we called for a replay, kind of an imaginary one, and got about a three-minute timeout out of it. And, came back and scored the next three points in one. So um, not ideal for the sport, but it, it just was crazy. Um, we played pretty well there. Uh, unfortunately, we dropped a match, but um, more importantly, we lost Mercedes Pacheco in the match, and um, that had a big impact on the match. She's uh, one of our primary passers and, uh, and about four or five digs a game, and depending on the game and where we're playing her. but. Uh, she got a hit in the ball, uh, head with a ball in the eye in the second game and got a head concussion, so she'll be out for a couple of weeks for us. And um, That was unfortunate. Kind of had to work around that, but otherwise it was a pretty good weekend. We had good numbers, and um, I thought, as Frank told you before, we battled pretty well in some tough spots. And we were down, oh, geez. Uh, probably 23-20 in the fourth game and came back and won, and then we were down match point in the fifth game and came back and won. So I was pretty happy with our uh, willingness to battle and get after it. Um, I just I obviously wish we had lost Mercedes because she's our captain and a big part of what we're doing right now. But she'll be back soon, so, so we'll just uh, work through it. Uh, we're off to Nebraska this week. We have Missouri State, who's a really good program. Uh, they were ranked in the top 20 all last year. Um, play them Friday morning, play Nebraska Friday night, which will be, I think, a great experience for our team. Matches sold out uh, like, I don't know, 10,900 or something like that. Um, we had to push to get our 30 comp tickets for our parents. so. That's how sold out they are, which is really exciting. And uh, they're ranked fourth this week. They started the season at one, and uh, and then we play Central Michigan on Saturday. Uh, after that, we open conference next Thursday against Utah State. So, the um, only other things I really have is we're getting some good play out of Lauren Twitty. She's really stepped up. She's. Um, uh, had a great weekend this weekend, put up big numbers. Um, uh, Ty Barrera, our new outside hitter from transfer from Memphis, is putting up good numbers. Um, getting really good play out of Vic Sprague in the middle from Boleyn. She's uh, got good numbers on both sides, offensively and defensively. So um, just uh, working through the system with two new freshman setters. I think they're getting better and better. Um, We've battled through some tough matches. We've had two three-hour matches already, which is really long with our scoring system. But um, I think they're going to get better and better, and I'm happy with what they're doing. And uh, I think the conference opener next week will be a good start for us because I think we're in a place where we can do really well in the conference. So any questions? Any concerns about keeping them focused on Missouri State that morning instead of Nebraska because they'll be so fired up to get to play that Well. Day? Morning matches are tough. We're actually looking as a coaches association at going away from them, to be honest, and making it so you can only play one match in, in a day. But that is always the battle. And, um, you know, I, it's not just that, but you don't really, 
ever play in the morning except for these first couple weeks. So it's kind of different. Um, but no, I think I think they'll they'll be ready and. Um, you know, I, I think it'll be a good because even in the morning match, there'll be a big crowd and it'll help get them prepared for the evening. Um, you know, we're, we're seeing more upsets than ever, more um, craziness, more um, parity throughout our sport where if you're not ready to play on a night, everybody's got good players and, and everybody's you know, a, a top five team is losing to a team with a losing record this year. That's never happened before. It's good for the sport. It just tells us that things are drawing closer and closer, becoming more like basketball where you've got to be ready to go and you can uh, fall to an upset if you're not. And, and so really just taking things one game at a time. And um, we've in, incorporated a new video scout system that I think is working really well for them too. And hopefully that will help alleviate a little bit of what you're talking about. So, Anything else? Yeah, you've had uh, problems in the past winning in five. We always seem to lose in five. This year we've already won two out of three. Is there a reason that we're... we're, we're five game matches it? are, you know, um, it's year to year. The last two years we struggled with it. The year before that we won five out of six. You know, it's it's that confidence in the... You, you win one, and then you've done it. You know, it's that that fifth game is sudden death, and um, it's it's interesting because we you get to the fifth game and the scoring system changes, and the um, it's just different, and it, it makes players really tighten up. And um, yeah, it was good. And and actually, in both of those, we came from behind to win, so it was even better. So I think that will help them on down the road for sure. But it's uh, it is, and as a coach, you kind of take a deep breath because. Uh, you know, you play like we. Our first one, we lost 16-14, and then we come back and won the next two. And um, you know, it's tough, and you just don't know. But if you're playing above 500 in that fifth game, that's a good thing because it's really a different, different game and a different atmosphere. And the game's short, and you're in a normal game, you're going to go through your rotations about three times. In a fifth game, you go through it about maybe eight or nine rotations is all. So. You're lining up to get your best hitter where you want them, your best server. There's a lot more strategy in the fifth game, too. So, so is Colorado State the team to beat, of course, but uh, I know it's kind of early. We haven't started playing, uh, but who, who might be uh, some of the heavy? Have you had time to even look? And I, actually think, I actually think Wyoming might be the team to beat. They're, they're all back, and um, they're, uh, they had good numbers last year. We split with them last year, but... Um, I think they've gotten off to a really good start. CSU is the most physical, but I think um, just playing volleyball, Wyoming's playing really good volleyball right now. Coach, third road tournament in four weeks. How do you like how the younger players from the team are handling the grind of being on the road and traveling and all that stuff? Um, it's good. I mean, like I said, we, our, you know, our setters are two freshmen. We're playing a 6-2, and they're both playing. And... Um, kind of see them go through the ups and downs, but overall they've played really well and um, I don't I don't really foresee any issues with that. The, I was saying before though, there's a proposal out now in the sport to go where you can play, right now we play 28 dates. What they want to do is say you can play 32 games, but you can't play more than one on the same day, which I think is great because we don't ever do that otherwise. And so you just do it a couple times a year and it's crazy in terms of preparation, injuries, all kinds of things. So, you know, you're, you're talking about with warm-ups, you could play seven, eight hours in that day, which is pretty ridiculous. So I'd like to see that passed. Hopefully it will. But I think they're handling it well. And um, I think the older players are, are doing a good job of bringing the, the new setters into the role and stuff as well. You may have said it already, but I'm probably through it. But how long do you think the season is going to be out? Uh, well, typical protocol is 10 days. It happened on Friday. So I, I hope we have her back for the Utah State opener next week, but I, it's going to be close. So good. Have a great week. Thank you.